Okay, we're trying to get the cat over here for this segment where we're going to show the launcher. So with this launcher, this is a build with the little bits. My completed circuit is right here. I'm going to use for the input the button, but we might also try the slider after we try the button. So I'm going to put the power on. There we go. I'm trying to get the, the kitty over here. Come on, Lily. She's a bit shy. Come on. Come on over. Look, you can you can come look at, check out the cat house again. This is their scratching cat house. So I thought that would entice one of them. Oh, she just like she just walked off. Great. All right, well, let's show the catapult. Here's the button. Actually, what you start with is just a piece of wadded up paper so you can see how well that does first. So sometimes you can get it to knock over a cup with the paper, but it's pretty lightweight. What works great is the ball. And then sometimes these cups will fall so that they stack on top of each other. So you can also use, and my black cat, Chloe, she likes this fish. You can also launch the fish. And then they like to sniff that. It usually has a little bit of the catnip in it. Okay, so you guys get the idea. Lily, okay, I am so sorry because the, this is all done for the cats. But once the camera's running, they do not want any part of it. So let's try. Oh, she wants outside, that's nice. Of course she does. Okay, so let's try the slide button. Um, let's see here. So you can see how it's a little more robotic. But not quite the same force. <laughs> Sometimes these, the circuit gets a little disconnected and then of course it won't work. Okay, let's see if we can actually kind of read it the other way. Okay, here we go. Oh, okay, I felt like that was very satisfying because it went into the cat house. Now the cat house is like a scratcher house. It's got a little scratcher pad in it. And then right here, you can see there's another doorway, more windows, and the little cat, well, our youngest one, she's not so little anymore, um, our black cat, sometimes she likes to go in there and sit in there. But it does have the, you know, that, those scratching squares. I actually got that at Aldi's and it says Christmas tree farm. Got another for a gift for family that has cats. Theirs was a log cabin version, um, which works perfect because they like to, you know, go camping and hiking and everything. So they've got a couple of cats. And so I hope they liked it too. Uh, Lily clearly won't even come over and sniff it, probably because the youngest cat liked it. And if the youngest cat likes it, she's kind of has disdain for it. The younger cat's still trying to learn, earn her respect from the older cats and you know how that goes. All right, one last time to show on the button. If you get your kids involved in making this, then you can, you know, try maybe different colored cups, um, set up a scoreboard, maybe put points on each cup, however you guys want to do it. Running the checking account for groceries. Okay, that's nice, sweetie. I'm doing a video, so you just told everybody that. Huh? I'm doing a video. Oh. Okay, so that's the last one. And apparently I can now go to the grocery store and get some coffee and a recipe to make a hamburger casserole, which is similar to how my grandmother made packages with some hamburger and some, uh, you can make your own mushroom soup or you can get mushroom soup if you're saving time. Then you can cut up some carrot and some potato to put in with some garlic powder and onion powder, or you can also do some sauteed onion to put in there. And then the fast, fast way is instead of cutting up the potato, you can take tater tots and put on top and then you bake it like at 375 for 35 minutes or so. Of course you have to, you know, 
fry up the hamburger first before mixing all that. Okay, so that's going to be all for today. I'm sorry that the cats were too shy for the camera and you know how cats are. Take care, you guys.